message is the ultimate goal of our life is eternity in heaven if the ultimate goal of our life is eternity in heaven then who will best to get us there ourselves others or christ so in the matter that matters most our eternal destiny people say well it doesn't matter what you believe in the world that tells you there are so many different many ways to get to heaven that all roads lead to Rome. They do not. Ultimately, there is only one way to eternal life, and that is to follow Jesus Christ. There is one gospel, and it is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only door to heaven. This simply means that what Jesus Christ said in John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The two of the most valuable statements by Jesus is found in John chapter 14 verse 6. I believe. Number one, he says I am the way, the truth and the life. Number two, he says no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said to him, to Thomas, and Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, I am the way. The path to heaven is a person. No principle, no practice, no precept, no philosophy. With this way, divine dramatic declaration. Jesus make it clearly on this gospel plane that only He is the way to heaven. There is no other path to heaven except through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, there will be no hope of seeing God. The explanation of the only path to salvation is first in this world. I am the way. There is no other way. For the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, salvation is found no one else, for there is no other name under heaven, given among men, whereby you must be saved. When we follow him, the way to heaven, we receive assurance of going to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only door can take you to heaven. There is no other door. Today you must decide for yourself. Your internal destiny depends upon your decision. Ever since the garden of Eden, the fall of Adam, man has been separated from God, deceived by the devil, and dead in sin and trespasses. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the answer for all these three problems we are today. We are separated from God, but Jesus is the way of reconciliation. We are deceived by the devil, but Jesus is the two of revelation. We are dead in sin, but Jesus is the life of regeneration. The way to heaven is not something that we can earn or figure out for ourselves. Rather, it is only faith in Jesus Christ and is open to all who call upon him. It's amazing that the grace of God be given to us today. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, it's not by works, it's by the grace of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Every person must make a choice. Either you can think you are good enough to go your own way, or you think a religious system will take you to heaven, or you think you are good enough, or you think that you can receive the message of God, it's up to you. I personally can slave on it. I choose the message of God. Jesus is saying there are two kinds of ways that many people might have today to go to heaven. One is the narrow way. And as of divine righteousness, the other is the broad way of human righteousness. Which path are you walking now will determine where you end up when you die? Every one of us must make a decision. We have two ways to follow him or not. It's up to you. The choice is ours, and our eternity is based on the choice that we make today. Which way are you on now? Will determine. There is no other venue to obtain reconciliation to God. Forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Jesus is the way 
and only in the way can take you to heaven. My dear friend, if you don't know Jesus today, my prayer for you today is to invite Jesus Christ into your life. If you would like to receive Jesus by faith, simply let his prayer in your heart. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I need a Savior today. I'm transferring my trust from my fault, from my effort, for my consistent, for my good words, for my promises, for my commitment, and transfer all my trust for my intentions to you on your behalf and I'm placing my faith in you so that when I die, I can be a kingdom, remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah.